Just a quick video for the conclusion of this. Uh, today is day 10. It is uh, late afternoon and I'm actually just getting ready to go out and get something to eat with my wife. Uh, I had another granola bar today, so I'm up to 1,315 calories for the last 10 days or about 130 calories a day. Uh, energy level still way up, you know, 90% usual, which is pretty good for considering I'm eating such a low calorie count. Um, not a lot to say really. Uh, I didn't drink as much water as I should have today. Uh, yesterday I drank six full glasses, so 66 ounces, which is probably still less than the recommended three liters for a guy my size, but definitely not in dehydration territory. It's amazing how much water you gotta drink when you don't have food to make up for the difference. So it's gonna wait on me. One hundred seventy-three point two pounds. Now let's get a final waist. I really don't think the waist is telling me much, but it is something else in terms of data that I have. Uh, waist really didn't shrink much, but that's kind of to be expected. I have a lot of bone mass there, uh, so kind of the, the lower part of my waist where my pants sit. About uh, actually that area is. Maybe 136, 135 and a half, depending on how much I fold the tape. And then further up uh, here, maybe 137. So the other day when I measured 136, I was definitely a little bit off. Uh, you know, it's easy to pull the tape when you're around there. But, um, you know. Things went well, uh, lost a decent amount of weight. I'm gonna eat for a little while and maybe I'll do some intermittent fasting, uh, take a weekend here, a weekend there, and just try to keep my weight trim. I'd like to kind of bottom out and stay around 170, even though the BMI says I should be about 163. Um, you know, I, I'm a decent sized guy, I've got some muscle on me, so I, I kind of justify it away that way. Um, but I probably won't videotape anything like this again in the future. This was just an experiment to see if anyone watches it, if anyone cares. Um, you know, some people might want to look at this in terms of, you know, they're thinking about fasting themselves and they want to see what other people have to go through. Uh, I don't recommend it without, you know, making sure that you're in the proper health, maybe talking to a doctor. Uh, other people might look at it and just think, you know, intermittent fasting, there's a lot of new scientific uh, research, a lot of things coming to the fore that say intermittent fasting might have some benefits. In terms of long term, uh, uh, in terms of life gain, living longer, uh, instead of you know long term uh, caloric reduced intake, so you know there's some reasons that people might want to watch this. But I just wanted to put this video together to show you know here's ten days of me going through this. Um, really wasn't too much of a chore, you know. It was, right now I've got my list of food, but it's kind of a horse apiece. I really am like, uh, do I want to go out and eat something? I've already gone ten days without eating. Anything substantial, you know, 130 calories a day. Yeah. You know, I was looking at reduced caloric uh, diets on Wikipedia, and apparently, very low calorie diets are classified as less than 800 calories per day. And I'm like, 800 calories a day? That's like a feast for me. I couldn't eat, you know, I'm gonna go out today and I might eat 800 calories. And, but anyway, that's too much. I'll probably make a follow up video a couple months down the road, a couple weeks down the road, something like that, to show how much weight I've came back. Like I said, yeah, according to the scale, I lost 18, uh, 15 pounds-ish, but, you know, a lot of that's water, at least 5 pounds of it, because you don't lose more than a pound a day uh, when you're doing this kind of fast, even though I am keeping up my activity level, I'm trying to jog, I'm trying to get out, I'm trying to do things. So, goodbye for now.